Hello, and welcome to our commentary track for Return of the Jedi. No, oh, we're doing Return of the Jedi? Yeah. I thought we were doing Revenge of the Sith. No. Nope. I've never seen this movie. What? This is going to be a horribly awkward commentary. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I Just won't... pretend. Okay, I'll pretend I've there's, seen it there's before. There's some teddy bears, and you don't like the teddy bears. Okay. And go. Got it. Now, sit back and get ready to experience George Lucas's definitive vision of Return of the Jedi. Anyway, here's Lord Vader arriving at the partially complete new Death Star. It's another Death Star. That's right. And I guess, yeah, should we just mention right off the bat that this is... This is the sign of things to come, this movie, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Uh, as far as everyone hates the prequels, but you can see glimpses of where this was going all the way back in Return of the Jedi. It's a transitional film. It, it <laughs> is, in a lot of ways. Yeah, this is certainly the the black sheep of the original trilogy, but it's more of a very, very, very light gray sheep, uh. in my opinion. <laughs> really, what the prequels did to me was they kind of redeemed Jedi. It's like it's like after after Attack of the Clones, this movie's like Citizen Fucking King. <laughs> oh sure. Oh, we we should have talked about the opening title crawl. How the first one was about intergalactic war, uh, uh, the second one also, and this one is everyone's going to save their best friend Han Solo. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, uh, also the Empire's making another Death Star, but they're going to save their best friend. Everyone has to save their friend. Everyone likes Han Solo. Are you looking forward to watching a Han Solo movie as a fan? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. That is a that is a new shot too. The the zooming in. That yeah. That is some kind of digital extension on the size of the door. Because and, it didn't look big enough before. No, and it needs to be uh, uh, six hundred feet tall for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Maybe the barge comes out of there. Oh, Ooh, that's, there you go. Oh, wait, the barge door. do they do they extend then the interior or probably not? Probably not. <laughs> and that's that's the baffling thing. So they, about... have a, they have a 15 story tall door for a, a, a 10, 10 foot high uh, entrance. That's big enough. It looks great. This 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 Blu-ray looks great. The, sure, the detail sure. on it. it. It's wonderful. <laughs> let's, see how, let's see how cavernous. Nope, nope. The inside is tidy. <laughs> Can we make that door bigger? <laughs> George, that doesn't make... Just make the door bigger. Just make the door bigger. Yeah, this is the size of the original set. Yeah. All all the little tweaks and changes and additions are completely random and completely baffling. Like, if you're going to try and spruce up the special effects, why would you leave some of the shittier ones in? It makes no sense. But all the, all the like, Jabba the Hutt, you know, the Gamorrean guards, Bib Fortuna, all these characters, all, this whole sequence is great. It's great on its own, yeah. Uh, but when you realize that the only reason any of this exists is just to get Han out of carbonite, so we can get that out of the way, right? Even though he has nothing to do for the rest of the movie, but this entire opening is so disconnected from. Well, it's it's tricky because it's almost like after this it becomes a separate movie mm -hmm. about Luke and Vader, right? Um, yeah, and then this this I don't know. It's like okay, Han Solo uh, uh, now he's a general, right? Mm -hmm. He's General Solo. Uh, yeah. And he stands in front of a door for the last 45 minutes of the movie. Right, but he was <laughs> he was uh, integral to the destruction of the Death Star in the first one, and now he's a general. And I, I, Needless to say, he's important to the Rebel Alliance, and they have this like convoluted, hackneyed plot to escape him by sending uh, uh, Lando in ahead of time to pose as a guard. Yes. The robots... Uh, as offerings and Chewbacca as a slave offering <laughs> by Leia in a in a disguise, and then it cuts to them after they after they uh, have rescued Han in this convoluted uh, plot. It cuts to like forty five massive warships and thousands <laughs> of X wings. It's like the Rebel Alliance could have taken him by force in about four minutes <laughs> <laughs> if he was really that important, right? You just have some X-Wings bomb the perimeter for a few minutes. Yeah, and they have like yeah. a loudspeaker. Yeah, we want Han Solo. <laughs> Bring him out, Jabba. We got uh, we got a bunch of bars of gold or whatever currency is. <laughs> okay. I mean, they, when, when shit hits the fan later and uh, they're going to execute everybody, they, they just fight back and they win <laughs> anyway. And that's only four of them. Yeah. And plus Han is blind. Yeah. <laughs> 
And here's here's the other question too: If Jabba did accept the droids as payment, would they have just left C three PO and R two D two there? Yeah, they would have had to come back for them eventually too. Or not? <laughs> or just leave? Them? They're like toasters <laughs> to these people. Not in this movie, Rich. Now they're all best friends. Yeah. <laughs> The last movie, yeah. <laughs> it's a kiddie movie and everyone loves each other. <laughs> but it leads to all these wonderful little scenes. Well, like that, that's the thing is like, yeah. Despite... Luke is where he needs to be. Right. The rest of the movie then, of course, is just Ewoks. And, and <laughs> it's like they packed in all the creativity of the whole movie into this particular uh, sequence. Yeah. What you're saying is it's like Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Oh, that's a good comparison. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very good comparison. The first half of Beyond Thunderdome, I, well, it's different in the sense that the first half of Beyond Thunderdome is great, <laughs> and the second half kind of sucks, but but it does feel like two uh, disconnected movies. Jay, did you say together. sucks? Speaking of sucks, <laughs> here's the new job. What are you talking band. about? Oh, no. Good oh my god, that looks so bad. It looks terrible, the song is terrible, and it's like you've entered a different film altogether. He's animated like it's a it's a Warner Brothers cartoon. Yeah. 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 He should be fighting the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what's her name? Sly? Is it Slice Noodles? Or yeah. Some, uh, Snice? Sny, Snice S-N-Y noodles? or S-L-Y? Or, like I don't that. know. Um, you it, call yourself a true Star Wars fan? I you know. You don't know that minor character's name? I was close. I mean, animated <laughs> to the point where it stands out horribly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not like it's not natural at all. No, they filmed they filmed new stuff with this uh, slave girl, right? For the special edition they did. You know, it's new footage. It's un- kind of unnecessary, but it at least matches, as opposed to the, the cartoon character singing, which looks like uh, Looney Tunes back in action. God, I feel so sorry for all those people who had to work on this kind of stuff for George Lucas. Oh. It was meant originally to be a big musical number, uh, which I thought would be funny in the middle of a Star Wars film. People that that are just like, what? You know, like, oh, and I had this wacky song. Yeah. And I had this cartoon uh, cockroach I, singing. I la, da, da, do, da, do. <laughs> I got a job like, working for Lucasfilm. I'm going to yeah. do the movie magic. Oh, you want me to do what? George has been watching Warner Brothers cartoons. <laughs> what should I do? He's the boss. You can't do anything. Right, exactly. You can you can do it. You can't destroy these things, you know. It's, it is possible. I love that there's like a hundred people just right behind this tiny curtain. Yeah. <laughs> they all they all woke up and then and then Yeah, were they just waiting they back were, there all waiting. night? Yeah. And someone pulled the curtain when Java told them to. <laughs> Maybe 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 Java was just having like his own orgy back there. Right? Oh, <laughs> it's unrelated. just bad timing. Okay. Java does say ho 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 a lot. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna do impressions of all the aliens for the rest of this commentary this is a good little introduction to luke though he looks kind of badass here you realize he's he's a little bit older and a little bit wiser than he was in the last film until you see his haircut oh <laughs> <laughs> i want to say if i were, were to talk about hairstyles this one harrison ford's hair is like very poofy and mm. same with Mark Hamill's hair. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Hamill is like borderline bowl cut yeah. wait, in my wait, memory. Look, it's a bulba. Oh, my God. Sibyl. Oh, <laughs> God. Did they add him in in the fucking Blu-ray? Yep. yep. Uh, didn't any of these fuckers die between the two <laughs> trilogies? Ah, uh, the Rancor. Love the Rancor. Everyone a little tiny puppet. Now, was fighting a Rancor part of Luke's plan? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fight a Rancor with a bone. <laughs> and then they're all going to take us out into the sand dunes <laughs> where I'll have to murder 500 men at one time. And I'm going to hide my lightsaber inside R2-D2 for use later instead of bringing it with me. Wouldn't it be funny if that like drink thing on R2's head kept the lightsaber from flying out, right? It just kind of <laughs> awkwardly fell on the ground. If someone found the lightsaber while they were installing the drink tray. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Oh, my God. <laughs> There's Greedo. It's Greedo. That person in the Greedo costume is kind of is like leaning back and like playing with their own fingers. I think they're trying to do like a mustache twirling oh, villain sure. m- move, but it, it looks really stupid. <laughs> I've always liked this little moment with the uh, the the ranker trainer. Oh yeah, just, this oh, this yeah. little moment yeah. of humanity, just this completely throwaway character, but they give him this this little moment when he's sad about <laughs> the ranker's death. 
It's just a tiny touch. The movie doesn't need it, but it's nice to have. Yeah, it, it's one of those things that sticks out in your memory when you're a kid. Yeah. You know? I always remember that. And George Lucas wanted that out of there, too. <laughs> it makes Luke look bad. <laughs> There's a snake with its tongue permanently out, just hanging around behind C-3PO. What? Where? There. Oh, yeah! yeah. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. There, I've, I'm noticing so much more on this Blu-ray. <laughs> Isn't there a part where a tongue comes out and touches three P and goes? Ooh. I think it's when they're mm. in the in the. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> we need more banthas. How many banthas can we fit in here? But how does that affect anything? I want more banthas. <laughs> I want them now. I want to say just give cut me, to give this me, shot. Give me. <laughs> um, this is stupid. <laughs> Inserting Boba Fett everywhere. Like they're showing him as like a ladies' man here in Jabba's palace. I, I don't mind him uh, hanging around the, the palace, but when, when the action starts, why does he help? Yeah. Jabba's guards obviously work for Jabba or they're, they're slaves to him or whatever, but Boba Fett's his own man. And, he, he you know, I would just leave. I would be like, oh, God, they got loose. Yeah. Oh, is that a lightsaber? <laughs> Bye. Bye, my little jetpack. <laughs> I'm out of here. There could, there could be an awkward moment, though, when everybody else is dead and Boba Fett's just standing there and they're ready for the fight and he just, like, walks away. Yeah, <laughs> that would be clever. Instead, his uh, idea, I'm going to stop this Jedi Knight by wrapping a tiny cable around him. <laughs> Have you heard of Jedi Knights? <laughs> uh, maybe he hasn't. He has. His father was decapitated by one. You're right, Rich. You're right. He do was. We, the, he saw count, it happen. Do we even count the prequels as canon, though? I don't. I guess he he uh, uh, witnessed thousands of Jedi's fighting thousands of robots in a giant, <laughs> uh, violent bloodbath. So he thought all we need is some robots. <laughs> now, didn't they change a line from Han Solo? Here? Oh yeah, yeah. It's like now he says like I can see much better or something. Right. Han Solo, uh, Lando says I thought you were blind, and then ha originally Han Solo said Nah, it's all right. Trust me. And then now he said, it's okay, I can see a little bit better now. Yeah. Because there wasn't enough time to fit the line in. So the, <laughs> it, the looped line is just really fast and Such strange. Such a bizarre little change. <laughs> Don't move, Lando. Oh, wait, I thought you were blind. It's all right, I can see a lot better. Don't move. I'm a little higher. Yeah, it's all right, I can see a little bit better now. But, uh, of course, the, the Han Solo thing to say was, it's fine, trust me, I can kind of yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but we had to change that to something more logical and pointless. <laughs> To take away any sense of danger. Right. I always remember this uh, when they pull R2-D2 and C-3PO out of the sand. I remember from the VHS version where they do like an awkward oh, pan yeah. and scan. Right. Because they're left <laughs> to right. Yeah. They steal Jabba's property and murder hundreds of people. Yep. And then blow his barge up for no reason. So, <laughs> so they can save one drug smuggler. Yep. See, you now this feels like the end of a movie. All of our characters had something to do. They're all back together, and they've won the day. And now they got to do something else. And now we have to go do something completely unrelated. Did they have to fire the laser at the mothership, the, the large Jabba skiff, and blow it up and kill everyone? <laughs> Just like a wake of destruction. I read, <laughs> I read an article or a story about someone that found that barge. This is a life-size barge, and they really blew it up. And some like archaeologist was digging around and they found parts of it. They're like, oh my God, we found some kind of weird civilization. Oh, it's just left, it's just junk from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. That could have funded his career for the rest of his life. That is a delightful find. I, uh, yeah. They just they dug up, it was like pieces of wood from the set. It was like a, a set, obviously. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, they probably just built half of it, just the side that they needed to blow up. But. Now, oh, we got to deal with Luke going back and getting trained by Yoda. Mm -hmm. Get new haircut, you must. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, do I have to force you to go to a barber? <laughs> and he said, yeah, well, do I have to force you to trim your ear hair? <laughs> and why does that man have his hand up your ass? <laughs> yes, forever sleep. Oh, uh, okay. Except I guess... when I'm a ghost. <laughs> Oh, I was coming back to finish my training. No, oh, you're just dead now? Okay. You swung your lightsaber around and killed a bunch of people. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Is he uh. Scottish now? Hey! 
I don't know. I, I came all the way back to Dagobah. Couldn't you have just told me the last time that I was <laughs> done? Yeah, that's it's like. It's a really long trip. They established an empire. It's like, oh, he still has much, much to learn. And then, oh, you just got to kill Vader, I guess. The Jedi initiation is killing Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> he has to stand in a big room with a bunch of other Jedis, like moving a lightsaber around, <laughs> hitting the little lasers that come out of a training ball. <laughs> that Han Solo had on the, the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Actually, Luke's got a long way to go. Yoda's just too fucking, like, tired and old to bother. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're a Jedi. Whatever. No, I mean, it, it works fine in the context of this story. You must confront your father. It's like, that's that's what the prequels ruined about Star Wars was that the whole Jedi training thing where it's like, the, you know, here it's, it's very loose. And it should be. And the prequels, it's like you have to go to this school for 28 years. You have to be trained at... At age one, you have to... You know, it's oh, like, yeah, no, all that stuff sucks. The Jedi training in itself isn't learning how to block lasers with a lightsaber. Sure, no, Which is what the prequels experience. reduced it to. Right. And now it's it's more of a emotional, spiritual thing. Like, oh, oh, Yoda, fix your ear. <laughs> Dude, your <laughs> eyes some, are crossed. Some, <laughs> the puppet's going crazy. <laughs> At least we get an exterior here of Jacobah a little bit, right? Oh, sure. Oh, the light's gone out in Joe's little house. Goodbye. So here we have Alec, Alec Guinness coming up, looking like he'd rather be anywhere else. Because he'd rather be, anywhere, he'd rather else. be anywhere else. <laughs> That's something I never really noticed, is just how bored he looks. Well, Alec Guinness and, hated Star Wars. Uh, yeah. And then when I opened it and found it was science fiction, I thought, oh, crumbs, you know, this is simply not for me. Uh, <laughs> and... Then I started reading, and it seemed to me the dialogue was pretty ropey. Uh, <laughs> but I had to go on turning the page. and the, I mean, that's an essential. Yes. I mean, I guess well he, I'm assuming they gave him a big fat check to come back for this, but... <laughs> <laughs> this, I mean, this the, in like as a kid, a little kid watching this, it's oh, Obi Wan. Like, oh but yeah, in hindsight, you wouldn't notice it, but when you know the backstory, it, the, well, just now it's fucking terrible. Like, <laughs> Empire, you know, Luke's Luke's dazed, he's freezing to death, and he sees like a faint ghostly image. And, oh uh, sure, and it's just like extended like, hey. conversation. And now yeah. it's just having a conversation. Yeah, it's oh, it's awful. Yep. And Alec just didn't even want to stand. He's like, I'll come do the scene if I can sit on a log. Yeah, a ghost sitting on a log is weird <laughs> in itself. Like, what, he can interact with, with the physical surroundings, too? <laughs> it's just exposition. Yeah. We need to get exposition out of the way. Well, that's this is a foreshadowing of the prequels. Is this, is this the, the first uh, two people talking in shot, reverse shot scene? This that's... is the start of it, yeah. I guess they figured kid, little kids don't care. Look, his feet aren't even ghosts. <laughs> he's a he's a three quarters ghost. <laughs> Look, you can see his shoes. <laughs> ben, come help me kill Darth Vader. You could sit on this log. Can you hold this <laughs> lightsaber? <laughs> How is he sitting on the log? <laughs> uh, you know, no horrors. No sleazy sex. In fact, actually, no sex at all if it comes to that. Are you nothing? You're braver than I thought. Nice. I need more men. He says there's a secret entrance on the other side of the ridge. Back door, huh? Good idea. Yep. Myself, the boy, two droids, and no questions asked. Get clear, Wedge. You can't do any more good back there. Sorry. Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? It didn't go in. Just packing on the surface. Sorry about the mess. Luke, at that speed, will you be able to pull out in time? Hey, point that thing someplace else. That came from behind. I thought that hairy beast would be the end of me. It's possible he came in through the south entrance. This way smells that kid. Oh, thought it'll keep you warm. Into the garbage, you fly boy. There's an awful lot of moisture in here. I can't. It's too big. Size matches that. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Now, I, I don't know if you've heard this too, but originally Lucas wanted Spielberg mm -hmm. to direct this. How different would this movie have been? How different would it have been if uh, David Lynch directed it? Yeah, that's the, the more interesting one than Spielberg. And I came into an office and there was George. And I had 
next door to zero interest. David Lynch makes George Lucas sound like a weirdo. Yeah, that's the funniest, funniest clip. <laughs> then he took me for a ride in his Ferrari for a lunch. And George is uh, kind of short, so he was his seat was way back and he was almost laying down in the car. We were flying through this little town up in Northern California. Which, if anyone listening to this hasn't seen it, find on YouTube the interview clip with David Lynch talking about his lunch meeting with George Lucas. It was incredible. I had to go to this building in L.A. first and get a special credit card and I had to get special keys and a letter came and a map. I just had, I had such a headache. I started getting a little bit of a headache. Just, a, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Have you ever seen that, Rich? Yeah, it was great. Oh, it's so I, good. I wanted to throw up. <laughs> he took me upstairs, and he showed me these things called Wookiees. And he showed me this thing called a Wookiee. <laughs> he took me to a restaurant that only had salad. Not that I don't like salad, but that's all they had was, was salad. <laughs> oh, my God. You gotta fly. Oh, that tunnel is a lot simpler than it really is. <laughs> I'm going to give you a warning here. <laughs> this tunnel isn't just a straight line that goes up and down. There's a plenty of fucking things to crash into. <laughs> fly down this simple tunnel. <laughs> I like, though, that that's the one design change they made to keep, like, the torpedoes from going to the center of the core? Well, we'll just make it bent. <laughs> and they can't shoot torpedoes down no, on tube. No, Rich, that's the, that's the, this is more like. This, so this is, is actually a different type of tube? It's a different, it's, it's a passageway that they could get through to the core. Okay. I think because it's under construction. I, I always just assumed it was the same old exhaust port. They just bent the tubes. No. No, no, <laughs> so no. You should, so you couldn't torpedo the no. tubes. No. Here's a lovely, lovely matte painting, but of course, uh. I was, I was going to say, as we all know, but uh, mo most of you probably know, not all, but the full-scale model of the Millennium Falcon burned down before this movie was shot. Yeah. And there it is in a painting form. It's a, it's a nice matte painting, but it's not... It stands out. Yeah, the, them in front of it does not blend well. And there was it, it was probably written off in the budget. We need it in one shot. Uh, uh, no, nope, we're not going to yeah. build it for that. Such a shame. Such a big shame. And this has always bothered me coming up here when Lando walks away. He walks out of range of the lights. Oh, the yeah. Scene. I noticed that in the and most recent the, time I watched everything this. Everything is lit everywhere evenly. There he goes. <laughs> but uh, he walked out of the lights. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Leave it in the film. It's artistic. He's walking into uncertain fate. Right, right. The darkness. He's walking into the darkness. All we right. don't know what's going to happen to Lando. But everywhere he's walking to is completely bright. Because nobody cares about Lando. I mean, everybody cares about Lando. Oh, uh, this is the, the famous scene where you see uh, Carrie Fisher's Coke finger on Han Solo's shoulder. Can you, Rich, explain to our audience what a Coke finger is? Well, I, I had to have it explained to me by you, I believe, at some point. But, I mean, <laughs> basically she's got one finger now that's really long so she can shovel cocaine directly into her nose. That's right, without the use of a use rolled of a straw, up $100 yes. bill or a straw. <laughs> you know, if this is a Blu-ray, maybe we could see little speckles of white powder up her nostrils. <laughs> Keep probably... your eye on Carrie Fisher's nose for this entire film and see if you see anything. <laughs> if you do, please email us. <sighs> Here's where the movie looks very uncreative and ugly. They're just in, a, they're just in the woods. Oh, well, this is the rest of the film, Rich. I know. Settle in. Get comfortable. This this was my favorite action scene from the series as a kid. The speeder bike chase. I always liked it. It was like, very exciting at the time. Yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously very dated looking now, but... What's nice is they bothered with the the foreground. The foreground trees in the si the profile shots. Yes. I always like that. That, that adds a little... Like yeah. that, yeah. Because the, the front shots always look bad, like that. Yeah. But the, the, the trees whipping by on the side. Yeah, this feels like something out of the 1950s now. Is this a scene you would have liked to have seen entirely redone in CG? Um, no. I wish they wouldn't have changed anything. Just leave the fucking movie alone. It's of its time. Luke. Luke, I've been here doing nothing. Oh, you're Han Solo, right? <laughs> you were integral to the last two films, and 
Now you're gonna run around in the woods. Oh no, he's General Solo. Oh, he he's no longer a character. <laughs> General Solo in command of five guys. And an ape. <laughs> Before he was a selfish smuggler who had a character. Now he's just a guy. <laughs> well, his, his arc was over at the end of Empire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's why uh, they wanted to kill him off. Yeah. At the end of Empire. You heard about that. Who, right? Whose idea was it to kill him off? I thought Han Solo should die. I thought he ought to sacrifice himself uh, for the other two characters. I also felt someone had to go. You know, I felt someone had to die. I said, uh, he's got no mama, he's got no papa, he's got no future. He has no um, story responsibilities at this point. Wait, was it at the end of America? Because I thought they were going to kill him off at the end of this. I thought he was going to die I, in I the Death Star. I thought I had always heard that he was going to die... Uh, yeah, at the end of this movie. Like, he was going to be in, in Lando's scene. Yeah. And he was going to die when the Death Star blew. He didn't get out in time. I thought that was the original plan. I thought it was the end of Empire. Maybe there was multiple times they wanted to kill him. Either way, it would either at the end of Empire or in this, it would be after he stops being useful as a character. Speaking of useful characters, here's our introduction to Wicked the Ewok. Speaking of useless characters? Oh, is that that's what I meant. <laughs> Uh, I don't mind the Ewoks that much. Oh my god. I, I don't hate them like some people. I mean, especially now in retrospect, when you look at the shit that has come afterwards. Oh my god, he well, has he eyes He blinked, now. he blinked. His pupils. Yeah. Oh, that's new. That's new. Check for coke. Check for coke. <laughs> we got plenty Any, of close-ups. Anytime we get a close-up. Sure. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Are the eyes creeping you out? They They're look, distracting. They look... Uh, it looks very, it kind of looks scary. Yeah, a little bit. I thought I saw a little bit of white. (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Ew, this isn't a children's film. Which shows a butchered animal. Mm Mm-hmm. Ew, that's just... Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what wacky hijinks are happening here. (laughs) Ew. <laughs> he keeps seeing that animal. Always thinking with your stomach, Chewie. Ha 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 Chewie wasn't an idiot in the other films. He was like a co-pilot and engineer. Right. Now he's an animal who wants to eat like a, a, <laughs> an animal carcass that's just hanging there. In that's the very of the clearly forest. a trap. Right. And here he's, he's, he's just a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> who does nothing. I guess they swing on a rope. The swing on a vine. Oh, he does a Tarzan and yell. And he does a Tarzan yell. That's the, is that the lowest point of this movie? Um, the Tarzan oh, yell? Yeah, what, what would you say is the lowest point? That's a, you, Jay, your vote is for Tarzan I, yell? I'm going to say the Tarzan yell. Because the only thing that, like, the only thing that makes sense with him doing the Tarzan yell is that it's just a horrible coincidence that it sounds like the Tarzan yell. Well... Because Tarzan doesn't exist in this world. If we're counting the, the special editions, which I guess we are because that's what we're watching, it would be oh. the, the, the the cartoon opening uh, musical number of Java's Palace. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess if we're counting the special editions. Yeah. I was... Specifically, that ugly new animal they added when his mouth opens in front of the camera oh, yeah. and you see his dancing uvula. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. That is the low point. Yes. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Well, they gave C-3PO something to do in this movie, though. Here he pretends to be the Ewoks god. And Luke makes him float. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm not sure if I'm fine with it morally, (laughs) what Luke's doing. (laughs) But, you know, it keeps them from being burned alive and eaten. (laughs) I'm okay with that. E-teeny. Oh, R2. Doesn't he start shooting them with a laser? Yep. (laughs) Wow. Don't fuck with me and my god friend. <laughs> fucking kill you. <laughs> That's what his beeps mean. Beep boop 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 boop. They're violating the prime directive. They they Luke if Luke was in Starfleet, he would get court martialed. <laughs> he would say he would just wave his hand and say, "I'm not the one you want to court martial." <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice part. I, I always like to see it. It shows sort of the uh, the magic of storytelling. They didn't remove the one smoking a pipe, you know. I also like that that 
C-3PO is able to make sound effects, which makes perfect sense. Oh, sure. Yeah. It's the only time he ever does anything clever like that. <laughs> this is him explaining the Death Star destruction in the first one. And then he goes to Cloud City. He explains how Lando made inappropriate sexual advances towards Princess Leia. <laughs> Un Lando Calrissian, rapist, or ad. Well, their story checks out. The teddy bears agree. Uh, those little baby Ewoks, though, are cute as fuck. Uh, I'm just they, they are adorable. And Luke decides now he's too good for all this this crap and leaves. I'm in the forest with a bunch of teddy bears. Fuck this kitty shit. Uh, this is well beyond my character. I'm endangering the mission. And Han Solo's like, can you please take me with you? They just won't kill me off. <laughs> Why won't they kill <laughs> me off? I just want to die. Look at, look at his face in like every scene in this movie. He looks like he's doing it sarcastic almost. Well, almost? <laughs> Wait, was this... This was after... Uh, Temple of Doom? This right? is before Temple of Doom. It's before Temple of right Doom. Right before okay. Temple of Doom. I'm sure he probably knew he was going to do the second Indiana Jones film. Sure. Sure. Why, Jay, are you wondering if he phoned in his performance here? Because <laughs> he didn't give a flying fuck Well, anymore. you know, it's very unlikely that Harrison Ford would phone in a performance, so I doubt that's the case. I've almost always done films with the best of intentions. What's going on? Can we talk about this scene? I guess yeah. this is a commentary, so we should, we should be talking about yeah, scenes. Yeah, this this uh, this scene. This is where Luke says something like, I know that's why you couldn't kill me, or something like that, right? Isn't yeah. that the line? Yeah. Where it's like, in Empire Strikes Back, he was going to fucking kill him. Mm -hmm. Like, where is this coming from? He was ruthless, he was relentless, he chopped off his fucking hand, and the only reason he didn't kill him is because Luke jumped. Yeah, v Vader. Vader is much less intimidating in this film. He, yeah, he comes across like a like a more too too much of like a servant, right? To the emperor, right. which I understand their relationship. That's great, um, but this scene in particular, he just comes across like a weenie. Maybe, maybe instead of fucking around with Ewoks, there should have been something setting up a yeah. You need change to, of heart for Darth Vader. Exactly, you need to ramp up to him being more open to to, to his relationship with Luke. Here, it's just like I mean, this is the first time they're seeing each other since the fight in Empire. And it's in a an awkward little hallway. It, this is another scene that reminds me of the prequels, yeah. It is kind of awesome, though, that he uh, takes the lightsaber out when his back is turned. Mm. That always gave me the shivers. Like, maybe he'll do something. But it's just like, Luke, Luke has this, like, one eye on him. Like, yeah. oh, God, I don't like this. But, uh, and then that, to me, added, added a little bit of intimidation back to Vader. Just that moment, but. That's about it, though. I don't like this this location they chose to shoot this scene in sure. at all. Um, Go back into the tiny elevator. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was epic. Epic. <sighs> yeah, the Emperor's great. Do you mean Darth Sidious? How old is his name? Do we do we know how old Ian McDermott Jeez. was in this? No, no. Who's there in the uh, other devil's name? Here's an I was thinking about this because he he's a little bit older in the prequels, but not like here. I'm picturing him like a younger guy. Yeah, he's probably in his 40s or. Okay, I just always I just think of him as being like because I remember him from when I was a kid. and I wasn't thinking about it in terms of like makeup or anything. Yeah. So he just yeah. seemed like this super old guy, and then you see him in the prequels, and eh, he's not that old. Nope, nope. To be fair though, the prequels were only about ten years later. Yeah, that's weird to think it's, about, too. It's and very it, weird. It, it feels... I guess it's just like an age thing. It like, is an age thing. Um, but it just felt like such a long time. No, no, no! Who's there? <laughs> Master Windu. Come in. Aquavacator. You're under arrest, Chancellor. It's treason, then. Who committed treason enough, for God's sake? <laughs> Yet... Could not equivocate to heaven. Come in. Here's a farmer that hanged himself on the expectation of plenty. Oh, 
out of a friend's horse. I love democracy. I love the Republic. And the very throw of me. Yeah, get used to this location. Han Solo is going to spend the next 45 minutes in front of that door. <laughs> can't get hey, the door open. Cut least... to Vader, cut back. I still can't get the door open. At least we get a door. <laughs> he hot wires the door. That's the only smuggler-esque uh, thing he does in the entire film. Yeah. And he, he, he uh, after the stormtrooper hits Leia in the arm, he takes his gun out and he shoots that one right in the fucking face. <laughs> and that one's, that shot's awesome. <laughs> This should have been Wicket doing this. Yeah, this is just some random Ewok, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It is. They all chase after him. They should have just stand there and stared at him. Oh. Let's all go after that bear. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody go. Except for one guy. It's just one bear. You better take five men. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a spear. <laughs> He's probably going to crash because there's no way he could possibly know how to fly that thing. <laughs> yeah, how did he figure gonna it out? He's going to hit the first tree he sees. Everybody after him. <laughs> like he's spinning around because he doesn't know how to fly. Yeah, remember when the Empire was intimidating? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what do you suppose he regrets more? Uh, uh, Wicked or, or Leprechaun? I'm going to say Leprechaun because Star Wars has been very good to him. <laughs> uh, he has no reason to, to have any regrets about this. Mm, 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 mm. He this raps part. in Leprechaun. I come from the land of the Irish Spring. Dublin's the place where I learned my thing. From the Emerald Isle to your place in the hood. I'm the man of green come to do no good. This part's awesome. This is also the, the precursor to the prequels where we have multiple uh, action scenes going on at once. Yes. Yes, many storylines. What is it? There's three in this one. Is there four in Phantom Menace? Yes. Okay. Gungan robot battle, Padme running around, Anakin flying around in space, and then the Jedi's fighting Darth Darth Maul. Yeah. But at least this is the climax to a series. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that was. I think it was Ben Burt that who was editing Phantom Menace, complaining about that. And those. Oh yeah. Scenes. Yeah. It's like we got all these weird, we got wacky robots. All these we disparate got... elements, yeah. In a space of about 90 seconds, you know, you go from lamenting the death of, you know, a hero to escape to slightly comedic with Jar Jar. You know, it's bold in terms of jerking people around, but. And that's when Lucas made his famous quote. It's uh, <laughs> stylis <laughs> stylistically designed to be that Stylistically way. designed. But what we can do is diminish the effects of it. I have done it a little more extremely than I've ever done in the past. It's stylistically designed to be that way, and you can't undo that, but we can diminish the effects of it. We can slow it down a little bit so that if it's intense for us, you know, a regular person's gonna go nuts. We can diminish the effects of what the entire purpose of what I was trying to accomplish was. Right, right. Sure. I may have gone too far in a few places. I swear to God, I just saw a guy in a stormtrooper costume without his helmet on. You did. There was one in the previous shot, too. Oh, he's right there. I don't know why that is. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> was that a rebel who put on the armor of a, a biker scout? And... I don't think so. There's no explanation for it. Hmm. Never noticed that before. <laughs> oh, my God. Here comes all the, the teddy bears. <laughs> Oh, I'm Wicket. Don't forget about me. Burr, 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 burr. Uh oh, here they go. Right, we Here's that the door. door. <laughs> Get used to that door. Get used to the door. Let's chase all the teddy bears that have ran into the woods instead of killing these rebels that are standing by the door to the shield generator. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all, all those stormtroopers should have just turned around and just started marching right at Han Solo and all firing all at once and murdering them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Meanwhile, the spears are harmlessly bouncing off their armor. Yeah, or, or <laughs> while the Ewoks are running away, thinking that the stormtroopers were going to foolishly chase them into the woods and then stopping and realizing that they hadn't. And they just all turned and shot everyone. <laughs> and then the movie ends. <laughs> the movie ends. <laughs> Then the rebel fleet shows up and the shield's still up and the entire fleet of Star Destroyers wipes them out. 
And Luke joins the dark he has side. No the choice. End. He has nothing else mm. to do. You're pretty much fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Oh no. This is when it starts to get lazy. <laughs> lazy. <laughs> Even the Emperor won't get up. <laughs> I'm, just I'm, just, I'm just gonna sit here. We close the fucking doors. Close that fucking door. I just want to see one of those lasers hit one of the the Ewoks and just explode him. No, this is the closest we get. This is our one dead Ewok. Oh, and it's a Ewok we don't care about. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, you mean all of them? Well. I, get, I think he wants, he's goading Luke into getting angry so he'll kill Vader and then just be his apprentice. So, so anger and the Force just magically makes you join the Emperor, though? <laughs> How are the two related? He has a anger journey. would make him join the dark side, but it would also make him cut off the Emperor's head. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, there's no point in getting angry about it because he's the one you want to kill. <laughs> he couldn't kill the Emperor. The Emperor's too, too tough. Yeah, Remember? you have to throw him into a pit. Um. You can't cut him with a lightsaber. You have to throw him into a pit. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that would kind of make sense, right? He was just so consumed by his own hate. And yeah. Oh, yeah. His All of his attention was on Luke. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, here we go. There's the Tarzan yell. What? <laughs> Did you just hear an awkward Tarzan yell? Oh, oh, here's where the Empire acts smartly as well. <laughs> Let's open this hatch. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Right. Let's open up that door and expose ourselves. To the monkey man. <laughs> <laughs> this is like space balls or something. Like, yeah. It's so goofy. <laughs> Mel, Mel Brooks was said it's going too far. Yeah. <laughs> Return of the Jedi was just too silly for me. Yeah. But... We're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, how I love the spaceship stuff when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. It's so awesome. So you liked the Star Wars in Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. I was never big on the mystical aspects of, like, the Force and all that. Oh, sure. The Rebels have been routed. They're fleeing into the woods. Are you sure? Because every other line of communication says that the teddy bears are slaughtering everyone. <laughs> You're the only person that says everything's going okay. I'm not sure I should open this door. Let's all run out, too. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, okay, well, everyone, we're all going to run out because we trust this one guy. Everyone else, their signal just died. I like Han's little smug gesture there when it's like, there's nothing clever about what you just did. Fun- You're just fighting really, really dumb people. Can Vader not really find him, or is he just pretending? Maybe maybe Darth Vader is distracted because he's just finding out about his daughter. There you go. Okay, okay. It is the only way you can save your friends. Yes. Your thoughts betray you. Your feelings for them are strong. Especially for... Sister. So, you have a twin sister. Your feelings have now betrayed her, too. Your feelings have now betrayed her, too. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Obi-Wan hid... Where? Oh, he gave Luke Leia to Basil Exposition of Basil Organa. <laughs> And then Basil Luke got to Oregano live on the slop farm. Yeah. And Luke got, Luke went right back to Tatooine where Darth Vader grew up and kept his name. And kept the same name. <laughs> Gee, that's going to hide him real good. <laughs> the prequels never happen. That's that's you you have to just not count them. Yeah, Anakin Skywalker grew up on Tatooine too. And made C3PO. That's the dumbest thing. Yep. Let's move. There's no way we can get far enough away to look like we survived this horrible blast. We're going to see in a second. <laughs> oh, my oh God. I oh, was dead. <laughs> oh. oh, he's oh. fine. Oh. He's not even surrounded by fire or debris. <laughs> he ran 11 feet away. <laughs> they saw the explosion and they're like, oh, my God, we got to cut to a shot of Han Solo standing up. Everyone's going to think he's dead. <laughs> also... No one bothers to, like, communicate a message up to the Emperor Palpatine that the entire shield generator has been exploded. Beep, 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 beep. Excuse me, sir. Emperor Palpatine is a crazy man. Mm -hmm. 
who's having fun with his new toy. I wouldn't want to be the guy to interrupt him. Yeah, that's true. I think I think there are generals. Yeah, there's a chain of command. Who can probably handle these things. Okay, I mean, you're right. Yeah, I guess he said, "Don't disturb me," and or guards leave. He made the red guards leave. Yeah. So he has a little "Do Not Disturb" sign on his on his door. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing private business up here. And that's kind of what makes the emperor great. He oh, loves. Sure. He's just pure being evil. evil. Yeah. Oh man, we keep cutting to Vader, and he's looking back and forth. He's conflicted. If only we had some dialogue to make me understand that he disagreed with what the Emperor was doing. If guy... only we had some way to know that that's what's going through his brain. <laughs> Why isn't the movie explaining this to me? If only he said no, no. Yeah, that would really, like, I, I, I don't understand what's happening right now. Wait, is he conflicted? Oh, he's he, he keeps, keeps looking back and forth. He keeps looking back and forth. I don't know what that's supposed well, to mean. He just had nothing better to do. Oh wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. No. No. Oh. You know, I never knew what happened. There. Ever since I was a kid, I was so confused. Right. I'm glad that they cleared that up. Wow. It finally makes sense yeah. for all this time. That's that's the most important moment of this movie, and it's fucked. I also kind of love that nobody bothers to stop Luke. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> These people running around. Well, this is, yeah, everyone's in panic yeah, mode I now. Know, it's I fine. Know. It's running for your lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> What's that guy doing with Lord Vader? Who gives a <laughs> fuck? Well, I, I, I actually really love that because then you have, in the middle of all this madness, you mm -hmm. have this, this you know, emotional connection between oh, yeah. Luke. And, uh, like, this, this part is great. Father, can we get on the ship first? <laughs> <laughs> it'll it'll just take a minute. Luca just should just keep looking off screen to some like death clock, like <laughs> like core exploding in thirteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, wrap this up. Right. And I'm 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 glad you uh, redeemed yourself, but uh, let's get moving. Here we have digitally erased eyebrows. Digitally? Yeah. Really? That's a that's a change. Clearly got his eyebrows burnt off. Yeah. They don't grow back. Oh, my God. At least they didn't remove... I guess it would be impossible to... Oh, to try and put Hayden Christensen in here or something? Oh, it would be possible. It, it would be possible, I but think, thank I think God the they didn't do it. I think the opening of this movie proves that he doesn't care how good the effects look. Yeah. That have been added. And so I, I wouldn't put it past them to replace his face with a Han, a Hans Christian Hans Anderson. Christian Anderson. Whatever his name is in makeup. Like, and it would be like not matching right and moving and look awful. But I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, everything's great once we get out of the forest. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you need to just replace the forest with something interesting. And this movie works a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give, give Han and Leia something more appropriate to do. Yeah, there's no romance between them in this movie at all, whatsoever. Yeah. There's no... They, they needed... Uh, maybe they shot something, but they needed a scene on the Rebel Cruiser where they kind of catch up, you know? I thought sure. you, I thought you sure. were dead, Han. You know, I, I've been miserable and... Well, I wasn't dead. I was frozen. I don't know. I missed you. Uh, <laughs> some sort of character interaction. And the next time we see them, they're at the Rebel... The meeting. Mon Matha's meeting. And Leia's in the background, like, chatting with, with other soldiers. And Han's more excited to see La Lando. There's no. What like, does that tell you? He, he, oh, I wonder if they're going to explain where they find the burnt up Darth Vader head. I'm assuming so. It's just floating around, and I'm assuming there'll collection. be some sort of explanation. There would have to be. He didn't. Oh. So no. I, I understand the idea behind all this, because this is the wrap up to the entire trilogy, and you want to show, you know, things are changing. But it's like. Okay, the Emperor's dead, so everybody everywhere in the galaxy is immediately uh, taking care of any sort of mm -hmm. Empire threat wherever they are. Yeah. All at the exact same time. We so free! We so free! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I hate this stupid song. Everyone likes the Yub Nub song. Yeah. I don't mean to complain, but... <laughs> I'm assuming this is John Williams, right? It doesn't seem like him. I don't. I don't know. This, it's, I mean, it's this so. Is a, it's. It doesn't. I don't know. It's so lame. Yeah, and it seems reverse of Lucas thinking to add something 
that wasn't Kitty. The Nub Nub song's Kitty. Yeah, that's true. And then it's like he adds this kind of like more mature song. I don't know. He's a madman. I, I think he it's, can, yeah, he at, this, can do whatever at he this wants. point, there's no way to figure out what's going on in the mind of George Lucas. Case in point. Oh, hi, Hayden Christensen. Who's that guy? <laughs> Who's that guy? Luke would have no clue. I guess that's some guy and, that Obi-Wan and, and Yoda are friends with. Now, is is uh, Hayden Christensen added to the credits? Fuck if I know. <laughs> this this is the, the worst shit. <laughs> have a wonderful day, and may the Force be with you. Yeah.